Today we're going to be combining functions algebraically and the notation we're going to use is going to be a little bit varied so we just want to make sure that you recognize the different notations. So when we add the f of x to g of x we can re rewrite it as f plus g of x. f of x minus g of x can be written as f minus g. f, times g, f of x times g of x can be written as f times g of x. Okay, so when we're doing combining functions, we, we need to make sure that we're aware of the domain of the function. And the range is going to be a little bit more difficult, but we'll, we'll deal with that as well. So the domain is going to be based on the restrictions here. So when we look at the f of x function, the domain is going to be based on the denominator. So x cannot be equal to 2. Now the range of this, we know that these are reciprocal functions. So the range of this function will be have a horizontal asymptote at 0, so y is not equal to 0. This is a quadratic function. Quadratic functions have a domain of all real numbers. And the range is going to be based on the vertex. So the vertex is at 2, and it's facing up. So the range is going to be y is greater than 2. When we combine these two functions, we're going to end up with 1 over x minus 2 plus x squared plus 2. So the domain of this combined function is going to be the most restrictive of the two domains. So in this case here, the new domain will be x is not equal to 2. And the range of this function we're going to get from our graph. Okay, So we're going to end up graphing this. And from the graph, we're going to establish our domain of this, or sort of the range of this function. In this case, the range of this function looks like it's going to be all real numbers.